yeah. Let's so get it great. From body parts to people who uh, mm. who are owing and not paying, and Shabby. from wigs being uh, snatched, uh, snatched off. off people's heads. I mean, well, people's scalps being lot. burned. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot that's in there, all right? So you don't want to miss it. 3rd of August. Yes. All right, watch out on City TV. Definitely. Now, don't forget the show is brought to you by Creamy Plus Evaporated yep. Milk, Sky Water, and Note Cosmetics. Mm. So grab you some milk, some water, and some good makeup. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Okay. Well, you have the Daily Graphic. Yes, so indeed. So I'm going to quickly give you lead some the of the way. main headlines. On the Daily Graphic front page, if a Sutherland Park loses shine, Gender Ministry says the park has not been sold. Now... This is just tragic. Every time you go to that park, mm. you just shake your head and wonder it's terrible, huh? what could be. You, you know, know that we did a whole f you know, feature on it. Yes, it's, it's just horrible. It is really sad. Anyway, that's the yeah. main headline on the front page of the Daily Graphic. I'm glad they're highlighting this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have the Ghanaian Times with me. And on the front page of the Ghanaian Times, academic calendar not affected. This is uh, the GES Director General assuring um, regarding the teacher union strike. Okay, National COVID-19 Trust Fund bags 62 million Ghana CDs in contributions mm. and donations. We also have Ashanti Region, now Director of Urban Roads, faces sanctions uh, for failure to provide speed breakers at as Islamic SHS. And I think that's a very important call in the right direction. Mm. People in charge of things should be responsible for their actions or inactions as the case may be. Maybe any mine demonstrations leaves six with gunshot wounds. Hmm. That's it. The Herald front page, Ken Oforiata finally confesses to Ghana's bankruptcy, according to the Herald, tells Parliament's Finance Committee foreign reserve has been depleted from $9 billion to $3 billion. Also, Ashanti Region MPP MPs are angry over the government's neglect, and they're demanding a meeting with Eastern-minded President Ikufuado, according to the Herald. Baumia, NPA boss and others commiserate with the Okujeto family. And Perry Okujeto lost his mother. And that's pictured mm. on the front page of the Herald newspaper. All right. I have the finder here. And um, uh, 53 million Ghana cities out of the 62 million Ghana cities raised by the COVID-19 trust fund has been dispersed. And we also have Road Safety Authority calls for trauma centers along crash-prone highways. Mm. All right. Um, civil service embraces digitization. This is um, uh, Ajiman Dramina speaking there. Um, if 1,051 board flights using Ghana card. Um, so basically the Ghana card seems to be, um, well, it's in, it's, in, it's in action, you know, um, it's being used now uh, for, for people moving up and down. Um, this is coming from various countries to Ghana. Yeah, this thing yeah. is so mis They have to couch it properly because people yeah. get confused, Yeah, you know, and they think, oh, I can mm. use that instead of my it, passport, but it, it's not it, so. It sounds as if it's a passport, as if but it's, it's a passport, not. But no. it's not and quite it's, that. Yeah. You know, yet yeah. anyway. Mm. Okay, the new weekend crusading guide from Page. COVID 19 <coughs> National Trust Fund rakes in 62 million Ghana cities in donations, but 53 million Ghana cities was disbursed. So you can check out the new weekend crusading guide on more on those numbers. And the U.S. Ambassador to Ghana applauds the GJA president. So mm. those and other stories are on the front page of the new weekend crusading guide today. Yeah, on the front page of the informer. Um, the Totobiko Ache busted at Jubilee House begs for funding for his group after failing to account for a 24 million telcos donation. And um, this and other headlines on the front page of the Informer. Wow. The Chronicle front page, how my brother died is none of your business. Late President Mill's sibling tells Ghanaians. And in Tim's team assures Veep of breaking the eight. That's the Stephen and Tim and the new MPP executives went to see Vice President Baumia. COVID Trust Fund received 62 million Ghana cities and spent 53 million Ghana cities. So there's 9 million cities that um, people want to know mm. where it is. Um, Mahama's government knew ambulances were not fit for purpose, says Minister. And Titus 3, verse 2, hmm. to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. Hmm. That's the scripture. All right. Yeah. On the front page of the Inquisitor, we have um, why IMF poked Ministry of Finance over GRA procurement issues. Um, GMPC Foundation's uh, schools are black on AstroTurf projects 
And then we also have a police service, most corrupt institution in Ghana. Um, mm. Dr. Dampari has his work cut out for him. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so, the Republic Press front page. Ajima Menu hammers Atu Forsen over procurement breaches in ambulance case. Also, President opens Office of Registrar of Companies today. Kobe Japong joins NDC bandwagon and calls on Finance Minister to resign. In Tim's team meets Baumia. And uh, Iron Boy Amachi Dede is speaking. He says, legalize ganja. He's telling the government. And food suppliers to buffer stock company add impurities to grains to gain weight. Uh, Clementa Park. So he's saying that the, you know, when um, the schools are given food or they have yeah. to procure food from yeah. buffer stock and their suppliers. Yeah. Sometimes they may open a bag of rice and find mm. that much of it is stones and things yeah. of that nature. And they're claiming that that is done to, to seem as though they're getting the weight they're supposed mm. to get. Mm. I mean, all kinds of things that, ah, what is all yeah. this? Yeah. But Charlie, yeah. the match it, 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 it interesting. It, it, yeah, he says government should legalize marijuana in Ghana. <coughs> he challenged the perception that marijuana smokers are deviants in society. Mm. He says if you smoke weed, you're not a bad person. Yeah. I think the government should legalize it. But he added that he personally does not smoke. But he talked about how Germany is making billions of euros from taxes by legalizing marijuana. Um, and you can read more in the Republic Press today. But it's you interesting. Know, but you know this thing, eh? the former NACO boss. Yes. Um, actually made a call for this. This is about almost 10 years ago. <laughs> as far back as 10 years ago, people have started making calls for this. Yeah. That, you know, let's have a national discourse about, about it. it. About see. it. Yeah. But Ghana in typical style, for years and years and years, without any end in sight, we'll just bury our heads in the dirt yeah. and then act as though a problem doesn't exist. Exactly. You know, as if exactly. it's like a child that covers his eyes and says, you can't see me. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I All know. Right. So and, if, and if you don't want people to smoke it, there yeah. are so many uses for Indian hemp, especially yeah. in pharmaceuticals, yeah. cosmetics, and other things as well. So you can look at it from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. Like there's an mm -hmm. industry yeah. waiting. And, there's a whole and industry. It's a actually. whole industry. Yeah. And it's a very lucrative it's one. Extremely lucrative. Since yeah. we're looking for money, yeah. you know. But, mm. oh well. People don't want to have the conversation, as you said. So, <laughs> Well, the weekend today says, um, well, one of the headlines here is, Marburg, not an airborne disease. Health expert mm. allays fears. Um, Thank God so for that. It's a contact disease, actually. Mm. So, um, yeah, if you don't come into contact with it, that's what they call communicable disease, mm -hmm. right? So um, this and other headlines on the front page of the weekend today. All yeah. right. Mm. So there we have it. You want to take a break? Yeah, okay. let's take why, a quick break, get ourselves together. Mm -hmm. It's Friday, you're watching Breakfast Daily yep. on City TV. Hashtag Breakfast Daily, and you can send a message, uh, 0550-585832. That's our WhatsApp line. Let us know your plans for the weekend. Maybe yeah. you have something interesting coming up. I mean, and if you have any birthday shout-outs you want to send to anybody, please send them our way. We'll do it for you right here on TV. All right? Well, we'll take a quick break, and the show continues. <laughs> 